Here's one basic tip. Never risk more money than you have the potential to make on a trade. It's totally pointless. It should be more like risking a pound to make two pounds, three pounds, four pounds or five pounds. This might sound unrealistic, but the best traders make money because they milk good trades for all they're worth, usually adding to the winning positions. You'll never make money if you take a £100 profit as soon as you get it and sit on £300 loss hoping that it'll turn around. It's very tempting when sitting on a big profitable trade to want to take profits at the first sign of any retracement. But this is not the right approach in the long term. If a trade that we have great profits on starts to go against us for a few days and we end up giving back some of our initial profits, that doesn't mean that the trend has reversed. It just means that the market is now going against our position. Fight on the winning side, but be willing to switch allegiances if circumstances change. It's an old investment cliche that you should let your profits run while cutting your losses short. Too many traders break this rule by moving their stop losses when trades go against them and taking profits very early. Sometimes when you go into profit, you will find yourself split between letting your profits run, but at the same time, you don't want to lose the profit should the market reverse direction. Here, it may be wise to take some money off the table. Close half your position and let the other half run. How can you ensure that you run your profitable trades sufficiently? Your decision to exit a profitable trade should be based on what your latest research is telling you. If the reason for buying or shorting changes, then close the position. Do not just hold on and hope. Let's say you use charts to plan your trades and the asset you are short selling is not yet oversold. If there are no support levels at hand to break its fall, then there's a good case for remaining in the position. It also helps to place a limit order, as it gives you the discipline to stick to a predetermined target exit level. Another approach is to position size, which involves opening additional positions or scaling back depending on the price movements. Hold your best performing shares the longest and sell poor performers quickly. Avoid penny shares and try to trade only shares that have good liquidity so you can easily enter and exit trades. Another good tip is to never look back. Don't get disheartened if a share continues moving even higher after you sell it. If your price target was reached, then it was a good trade. Be happy with your gains and move on to the next trade. Also, don't get put off by losing trades. Just like door-to-door -door selling, where a salesman doesn't expect each contact to result in a sale, losses are a normal part of trading. Just keep the amounts lost as low as possible.